Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 2nd of 2020. So it's 2-2-2020. Uh, made a video the other day, but the other video was an hour and a half, and I talked about everything. But I mentioned in it a problem I'm having with Windows. Uh, let me show you, like if I want to move this, and I go and click here. Okay, now it's not happening. Okay, let me go up here. I'm going to move this, uh, slide this over, right? Okay, it's not happening now either. I do not know what's going on. I got something to do with, uh, don't know what's coming, what's going on. Okay, that's one. Well, and I don't know why it's not doing it now. It's been doing it for two days. I <clears throat> tried different browsers. I changed mice. When I click on something to just move it over or slide it, it completely fills the screen. Every click up there fills the screen. Now, for some reason, because... I'm using this webcam program that isn't happening, but it was happening. Not happening. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I am okay. So I had that for a couple a couple of days, driving me crazy, especially with the way I do things. I'm going to make a YouTube video or whatever. You know, I have this going, and I have this over here going, and then I. Uh, and then when I get done making the YouTube video or whatever I'm doing or another project, I have, you know, something, a browser popped up here, here, and then I cut and paste. And I look up information and do stuff like that. And having this, as soon as I touch the thing, fill the, fill the screen is just sucks. So um, I thought at one time that it was... Uh, one of the extensions that I was using, and I turned it off. That didn't help. I know it's something simple, but it's aggravating. Well, so I have played with, in fact, I have a dual boot system here. I have played with uh, Linux for years and years and years, and I usually have a dual boot system. Um, I messed around in the past with Zorin, pretty interesting uh, Linux program, and uh, they have several versions. They have a new version out, by the way. By the way, I just downloaded today the latest version of Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, But uh, Zorin has, now when you download something like this, Ubuntu or one of these Linux programs, usually what you can do is, you know, put this in your uh, CD drive if you have one. Now, of course, you could also burn it to a, you know, USB card or something. But what you can do is actually boot off of it. Sometimes if you have trouble with your computer, even with Windows, you can boot off of this and uh, go in and fix some things. But what you can also do is <coughs> you can boot into <coughs> Zorin or <coughs> whatever version of Linux it is without installing this. So <coughs> when it pops up, Instead of installing it, you would run it just from the uh, DVD. And, of course, it's going to run slower. And, of course, you can't, you know, do, do things because it's running just strictly off. Well, you can do things, but, you know, you... Uh, but uh, you can see what... The Linux is going to work like, what it has, all that type of stuff. 
then you can decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, install it. Then it's going to go onto your hard drive, possibly as a, if it will be, be allowed, depending on what you're running and how you're running it and your computer and everything, as a dual boot. Or it may be, okay, you know, it's going to have to format, format your entire, you know, hard drive and then install, and then it's on there. <clears throat> but uh, uh, the uh, newest version of Zorin is 15.1. Now, this is not the latest version. It is 15.1, and like I said, they have about four different versions of it, I think. And one is Ultimate, and I started download. It's now almost 10 p.m., and I paid uh, $40 for, Zor for the Zor new version of Zoran Ultimate 15.1. I started at 4.35 p.m. downloading it, and it is now 10 p.m., and let's see if I can slide this up here. Click on this, I guess. It's 58%. You can see down here. It's 58% done. 58% done. And I started at 4.35. It is now 10 p.m. Um, I'm going to, well, this version of Ubuntu that I just, I'm going to boot up from, when I get this done, I'm going to boot up into Ubuntu and look at the latest version, 18.04, but not install it. Then when I get done with this, uh, and I burn it to a DVD, I'm going to boot up into uh, Zorin. Ultimate 15.1 and look and see how and try out what I can see how everything looks see what all the programs that they've installed and if I like it which I think I will partially because I paid forty dollars for it um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna format my computer and wipe out Windows 10 I've paid for a ton of Windows 10 programs. I pay for uh, Office, whatever they call that, every month. Oh, I just, you know, but I'm just, uh, two, the other thing was silly, but it's all hitting, like all hitting at once. Uh, I've been for a long time off and on. I play uh, Caesar's Palace, you know, the games or whatever, kill some time. I, I could be using that right, I should be using that right now. And uh, kill a whole bunch of time while I'm waiting for this damn program to download. But, you know, uh, Adobe, whatever it is, the thing we're, the, everybody, it's the, Software people have decided to do away with because it's been always been a pain in the butt. Um, well, now and now uh, Caesar's Palace—they've changed their their because I went there, you know, the other day, and they have changed. Now you positively before you could just opt out of the Adobe, whatever it is. And now they, it, if you want to run, no, you have, it's mandatory. You have to, uh, have to run it, have to install it. I'm not doing it. I uninstalled, well, I just killed the link to it is what I did. Uh, then the other thing is, I actually like the new, uh, uh, Internet Explorer, what, what, what was it called? 
what's it still called? Edge, Microsoft Edge or whatever. I actually like it. I, I've been using it. I've been uh, getting the latest upgrades and, and what have you, and I actually like it. You know, it's based on Chrome, and I like the features and the way that uh, everything works with it. Uh, but I was uh, doing a search for something today, and I forget what it was. Something simple. Well, I think it was a movie. Uh, and I expected Wikipedia to pop up or whatever. And then all the things that popped up for it was like, what's, what is this? This is a bunch of crap. Then it hit me. You know, it was bling. The search thing for Internet Explorer and for their Microsoft Edge software. And I don't know how many times I have gone in there and removed, you know, bling and replaced it with Google search. So this is all happening in, you know, this like a, a day or two or the same day, you know, and, and uh, uh, so I go in and I go where I use it and I can't find where I change from the search because they've changed their, uh, you know, reorganized things a little bit and they, they've hidden it, you know, stuck it away. They don't put it someplace where it's, you know. Easy to, and they, of course, they've done that in the past. So I can't remember. Can't, well, I, I went and looked where I thought it was before. Can't find it. So then I do a search. <laughs> well, of course, I went to, a, you know, Google and then did a search. Uh, and uh, I pop up the latest, it appears to be just about the latest website where they're telling you here's how you change you know your search on uh, edge and so then i do that which was step by step you know click on this click on this click on this click on this and then you'll see no you don't see it because internet explorer or uh Edge or whatever they want to call it now, they made another change to it. Undoubtedly to make it more difficult for somebody to find their way to it. So, so I, I just decided, the hell, and I'm making a mistake, I know this, because I've done this in the past. I don't know how many times in the past I've just said, to hell with the windows, now, of course, in the past, it, and Windows is working fine, has been working fine for me. But in the past, I don't know how many times, you know, I'd get the, the green screen, I'd get crashes, I'd get whatever. And now Windows is so much better. And haven't had a green screen, I don't remember in how long. And it's so much better. But I just can't take it anymore, putting up with this stuff. But again, I know what's going to, and you do too, if you've been following me, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to install, I'm going to wipe out my computer. Now, the only thing is, I, I don't think I'm going to go back to it. I, you know, I don't, when I do it this time, I think this is it. One thing, I'm getting old too, that I'm going to be 79, you know, I'm getting ready to uh, just, but I also have a brand new Chrome box that runs the Chrome operating system. And when I wipe out Windows and wipe out all those programs that I've paid money for years and years, and then, you know, the photo editing or the uh, movie editing software that I've paid every year or so to upgrade to the new version, and I don't use any of the features of it and all that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> But I think uh, what's going to happen, you know, if, if I go to uh, Linux here, and if I don't like it, I think I'll just pull all the cables out of my PC here, and I'll just hook up again the Chrome box and uh, use it. Uh, <coughs> it's not as satisfactory, uh, you know, especially once I've since I've paid for 
Well, what the hell, let's see. Yeah, I think I can probably show you some of what, let's see. Apps, let's try that to begin with. Okay, I've played for ACDC Photo Editor. Um, okay, this has got to load. It's loading slow, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some of these I won't even remember that I paid for, and some are not going to show up, I don't think. Creative Wave Studios 7. Uh, Debut video capture software. I paid for that stuff, and man, they update it, and then you have to pay again, and then it's not. Some stuff's supposed to be covered for life, and then it's not actually covered for life. Uh, of course, I installed GIMP, but that's free, you know, and it operates GIMP also <coughs> as a Linux program. Uh, of course, I pay for gra Grammarly, but that should still work when I go to. <coughs> Linux because it's an app for the uh, you know programs. Um, okay, I played for iFran Viewer sixty four. Um, played for Mani I paid for Manicam, which I do like. It works really well for me. I, I know people say I should be using, you know, OBS and all these others, but and I, but Manicam, of course, and I pay for it about every year. Even when I don't even know how the thing, how they work things out. You know, I've paid for lifetime membership for the thing, and then they come in. Okay, now there's a studio thing, yearly, monthly. Or I don't, and I I don't have many things. It's the same, you know. Same program, but anyway, uh, I pay for, I'm paying monthly for Microsoft Office. Uh, okay, I, I paid for Movidia Photo Editor 4 and Movidia Studio Capture 7 and Movidia Video Suite 18. Some of those things come with like video, you know, with the video, you know, sweet. All of them come, I think, inside it, but still. Uh, OBS Studio. I believe that OBS Studio is going to work, by the way, in Zorin 15, I believe. I hope so. Uh, I play for, I don't know, I think I pay for one note and I don't know what I, you know. I pay for so many uh, post box. I pay for several email programs and I just, you know, and I you pay for, out, you know, paying for Office so I get Outlook Express. But I'm actually using, uh, oh, crap. Uh, Okay, this is not everything that if I go over to, it's enough to show you that. Uh, so. The uh, Zorin, the ultimate or whatever, what it is, is, you know, it's Linux. It's based on Ubuntu. But what they've done for the ultimate is they've, when you download it and you install it, you have everything that you should need to do uh, video editing, uh, audio work, uh, graphics work, every, every uh, Linux program that you know, is already installed when you install this. That's one reason I guess it's taking so long to, well, it's taking a long time to download, I think, because they're, 
you know, a lot of people are downloading it or something. I don't know if the Super Bowl has anything to do with it or not. By the way, I'm not a sports fan at all, but I am a Kansas Cityan, and the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs. You know, lived in Kansas City all my life. I've had people, <laughs> you know, my, well, my life isn't over yet, you know. But, well, I think it almost is. But I never went to a Chiefs game. I never went to a Royals game. I'm not sports at all. I'm really a stick in the mud. I'm really just something about the way I was raised. I'm not blaming my father or mother or anything. I just... Uh, we weren't and we weren't a family that went places we weren't a family that did things we didn't go to you know we had a large family I had like over 60 cousins first cousins uh, I was sort of at the oldest range of them because I was born in 41 uh, just before World War II started and so there was all my father's brothers went into the uh, military, different branches, seven of them. And so they had started having families when they came back. So I, I was at the older range, but it was expected that you would, you know, family all gather on Christmas at grandma's, all go on Thanksgiving to grandma's and whatever. And my father and mother didn't. So of course I didn't. And, uh, you were expected to go to confirmations and baptisms and all that type of stuff, and we didn't. And uh, I think because my mother and father drank, uh, I and I was an only child also, by the way, uh, because they drank, I didn't have uh, friends who came over to my place if they come if they came over to my place they would have seen my father passed out or maybe he hadn't passed out yet my mother on the phone intoxicated calling all night long her family on the phone you know and going on so I didn't have uh, hardly anybody ever come over so I was basically by myself I was basically also a latch key kid uh, now, I think maybe first and second grade part of that, my mother's mother, who I called mom, I called my father and mother, uh, Jim and Betty. Uh, I never called them father or not. It didn't have anything to do with, I mean, it just, I don't, I just didn't do it. I was just, uh, you know, my mother was Betty and my father was Jim. Uh, but, so my mother's mother, mom, uh, she lived just with us, I think, about a year and a half. <clears throat> so when I was in the first grade and second grade, and actually it was my job, she had total heart block, and she wasn't, when my mother was a little girl, uh, her mother, my grandmother, had total heart block, and back then you weren't expected to, uh, to live and uh, she actually uh, there passed she died when I was like in second grade I think she uh, came to live so she was she took phenobarbital and she would she liked it <laughs> and so she would take too much of it and so it was my job as a second grader first and second grader to I kept her medicines, and I knew when she was supposed to be allowed to have one, and then I would give, you know, I would give it to her, or she would, you know, when she knew too, and she'd ring her little bell or whatever, and I would take it to her. But, uh, and she passed away, you know, when I was in the second grade or whatever. I remember I was in bed, and my, I woke up because my, uh, Mother was uh, taking her to General Hospital. And then, of course, my mother came back, you know, hours later. 
and uh, she had passed away. Um, but then after that, I was, uh, uh, well, I had, tr at that point, at the school I went to, I did have, yeah, but, and my mother and father were not that far advanced in, you know, uh, intoxication or whatever. So I did have, a, a you know, at that point, uh, a couple friends or whatever. But both my father and mother worked, and uh, so I was home alone and sort of liked it, but I'm sure that affected my relationships and, and uh, you know, every everything. But then in the see, fourth grade, I went to... The one holy name was uh, first grade, second grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. Uh, I went. That's when I went to holy name. Then for the fifth grade and sixth grade, I went to a new school. So I was a new person at that school. I never had anybody ever come over. I never went to anybody's uh, place. I never played with anybody or whatever. So I guess that made me the SOB that I am now. Um. Well, let's see where we are. Oh, I can see down here at the bottom. You can see 61%, and it's 10, 15, 6. I hope there's not an error with this thing, too. I'd have to start over with downloading it. So, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I was going to make this. And then splice, you know, splice together with another video and add together. But I'm just going to stop and upload this. So what else do I want to tell you? I think that's it. Um, I've been, uh, let's see. Well, I don't want to start it on another subject. This is plenty. I tend to make videos that are too long. So thank you very much for watching. I hope the next time I make a video that this uh, Zorin is done in, uh, downloading. I'm not sure. I'll be, uh, next month I'll be 79 years old. This thing may be still downloading. <laughs>